So there's the direct effects of malnutrition and there's indirect effects. What are some of those? Right. Yeah, that's a great point. So, and just to summarize again, the direct effects uh, it is shorter height and sh uh, and lower weight. That also results in later in life all kinds of things: a greater susceptibility to chronic diseases, heart diseases, and things like that, and a greater susceptibility to infectious diseases. And so, there are lots of biological effects throughout one's life based on childhood malnutrition. Our partner in this project is the central, one of our partners is the Central American Nutrition Institute. They've been doing studies for the last 40 plus years, 50 years really, looking at the effects of malnutrition in Guatemala. And these have become the gold standard studies around the world. And what we have found is that kids who have an intervention like ours, sort of stopping them from being malnourished, their lifetime earnings, their earnings as adults, are 40% higher than kids who are malnourished. The kids who are well-nourished or their interventions, they do better in school, they have higher lifetime earnings, the lower rates of chronic diseases and infectious diseases. So there, we can actually put a dollar figure on this. We know that this is costing Guatemala, you know, $350 million a year easily. That's like the really conservative figure. Uh, in GDP. And this is a country the size of Tennessee. It's not like it's, you know, a huge country. That's a that's a significant portion. So uh, when I was down the last week, I met with one of your two associates, Pedro, and he made it, uh, told me about a statistic. And I don't I have it in front of me, but it was something like there's two and a half million children in the country, ages seven to 11 or seven to 12. And like 600,000, some of them couldn't pass to the next grade. Uh, and this is 2015 stats, you know, and his theory behind that was they've hit like a cognitive limitation in their ability to proceed in school. It's 20 something percent of the entire population of kids in a country. Yeah. Can you imagine the impact that this is having in all phases in politics and economics and the society at large? Yes, it's a, this is really a tragedy happening right now. And the thing is, is it's not like it's without solution, right? It's not an inevitable uh, problem, so that's the frustrating part of it, but it's also why it's exciting to address it.